Right folks, part two. Um, if you watched the last video, I had just configured the basic VLANs and I had made all of this part of the network layer three switches, uh, layer three switches, layer three, um, no switch ports. So in this part, I aim, at least if time permits, to get HSRP done. Possibly do my DHCP on the distribution switches and maybe if I've got time, do the STP. So I'll start off and configure the interface VLANs for each of the switches. So, like I say, the actual format I'm going to be using will be the switch on the left will be dot two, the right will be dot three, and the virtual will be dot one. Same again here, dot two, dot three, virtual will be one. And the the network will be denoted by the VLAN interface, the VLAN ID, sorry. So let's just do this now then. To enable configure terminal, we'll do interface VLAN 3 IP address. I'm going to do 3.2, use the second one. Oh. And we'll do interface VLAN 5 IP address 192.168.5.2. These have all just got slash 24 addresses. And 9 I oh. 68.9.2. VLAN 14. Okay, now let's go over to D2 and just do the same thing. Slight modification, make it dot three. VLAN VLAN 9 IP address 192.9.3 Type in <laughs> uh, VLAN will be on 14 IP address 192.168.14.3 I think that's same um, Three dot three, five dot three, nine dot three, fourteen dot three. Three dot two, five dot two, nine dot two, fourteen dot two. That seems all good. Let's move along to D three and D four now. These will be for the VLANs thirty four, thirty seven, forty two, forty six. Same again, same format. Dot two for the left, dot three for the right, and we'll start doing the HSRP and configure the virtual interfaces. So let's just go. D3, interface VLAN 34. Oh. 34.2. 37. Interface VLAN 42, again. Oh, not you. You'll have to excuse my typing. When I record these videos, I use a different keyboard, a portable USB one. <laughs> and I always just mash the keypad. The keypad, it's quite terrible. <laughs> uh, 46.2. Thirty four dot two, thirty seven dot two, forty two dot two, and forty six dot two. That seems all good. Let's do the same thing here. And we're going to do interface VLAN thirty four. Same again, except it's going to be dot three, obviously. So we'll do thirty four dot three. To IP address one nine two be thirty seven dot three. <laughs> Typing is so bad. Uh, forty two. Forty 
46. Thirty four dot three, thirty seven dot three, forty two dot three, and forty six dot three. That seems fine. So now we actually have all our interface VLANs configured on this area here. We've not done it for the data center yet. We'll get to that later because that's going to have the dual HSRP instance. But right now that seems to be fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is configure. I'll do DHCP. Or I'll do the span entry, and I'll do the DHCP first. So what I'm going to do for this is actually use the trusty old Notepad. which will make things a little bit better. So we'll enable conf t and we'll do IP DHCP excluded and we'll exclude. We're going to have to exclude the dot one, the dot two and the dot three because that's going to be the virtual and the two physical IP addresses. So for VLANs 3.1, 3.3 and I'll just copy that, save a bit of time and we'll change that to 5, change that to 9, change that to 14 14, 9, 5 and keep that as 3 obviously so we'll just copy that yeah, quick look over, make sure that's fine. Seems to be. And we just paste this in, save us a bit of time. Exact same for D2. So the those IP addresses will not be allocated or handed out or leased, whatever you want to say, when the actual PCs make the DORA request. Now that was for VLANs 3, 5, 9 and 14 on here. We've got different ones here, so we'll make a slight modification. And we'll do, on this side, we're going to exclude 34, uh, 37, 42, 46. Oh. 46.3. 42, 37, and 34. Just copy and paste this. Paste that in here. That's then being excluded. Okay. So we've now actually excluded those addresses. What we also need to do is configure the actual DHCP address pools. So let's go and do that then. So the first one will be, we'll just keep the format quite simple. We'll just call the actual address pool the VLAN, whatever it is. So in this case, it's going to be VLAN 3 will be the first one. And we'll do a network will be 3.0. Oh, God. Really mashing the keypad now. Um, and we'll use the default router. We'll be 3.1. We'll make the domain, just call it what, ipv0.com. DNS will be all the eights. And we'll just copy you. Paste, paste, paste. I'll make this VLAN 5, change that to the 5 network, default will be 5. This will be VLAN 9, make the 9 network, default is 9.1. Make this 14 obviously. Just the same old, 14.1. Copy you, control C, paste that in, control C, and we'll paste this in. And now we need to make the now we need to make the same modifications for D3 and D4. So the VLANs we've got will be VLAN 34, 
So this will now become 34, 34, VLAN 37. This will become network of 37. Default router will be 37.1. VLAN 9 will become VLAN 42. 42.0 default router is 42.1 of course and the last one we have is 46 46 network and 46.1 copy just paste that in Good little time saver that not quite as good as network automation but better than doing everything bit by bit okay so now we've configured um the actual interfaces the physical interfaces on the vlans we've got the dhcp pools next i'm going to do hsrp and i think we'll call the video after that i think so right we're going to go into interface vlan 3 the standby three, we'll just make that match the VLAN for keeping it nice and straightforward. And the virtual IP we're going to put in is 3.1. Now remember, D1 is going to be the active router for VLANs 3 and 9, and D2 is going to be for 5 and 14. So there'll be slight modifications what I make to the commands here. Because this is actually going to be a primary router, an active router, should I say rather. I'm going to make the priority 120 because the default priority is 100. 120 will mean it will take priority. And to make sure it gets that, I'm going to put the preempt command such that if it goes down and comes back up, it will preempt and become active again. So, standby 3 preempt. And we'll do the same for the other one we're going to do, which will be the we'll do standby VLAN 9 IP. 192, I'm going to do 9.1, do stand 9, priority 120, stand 9, preempt. And the next two don't need the priority or preempt on it because they're not going to be the active ones. So we'll do interface VLAN 5, we'll do standby 5, keep the same format. 192.168.5.1. That's enough for that one. And interface VLAN 14. Standby 14, IP 14.1. Okay, now let's go on to this is going to be the primary one for 5 and 14, back up for 3 and 9. So we'll start off with doing 5 and 14 with the priorities and the preempts. So we'll do VLAN 5, IP address. Oh, what am I doing? Standby 5 rather IP 192.168.5.1. We're going to do standby 5, priority 120, standby 5, and we'll preempt it. Same again for interface VLAN 14. To standby 14, IP with 14.1, standby 14. Priority 120, standby 14, and we'll preempt. And the last two on this will just be just ordinary ones, so it'll be standby 3, IP 3.1, and VLAN 9 will be standby 9, IP. Oh, don't do that. Standby 9 IP. So we'll do a show standby brief and we'll see we've got third uh, sorry 3.15.19.114.1 and we've got the 5, we've got the priority 120 set to preempt. 14 priority 120 set to preempt and on D1 that should be the inverse of that. So we do a show stand brief 3.15.19.114.1 that's all correct however we've got 
VLAN 3 is priority with the preempt. VLAN 9, priority 120 preempt. Okay, that's fine. You'll notice the actual um, standby isn't taking place. Just now the hot standby routing protocol, that's because the interface VLANs are not up yet because I need to actually put the switches and trunks. Once I do that, the VLANs will become active. Therefore, the standby, the HSRP instance will become active. You'll see that in a wee minute. So, actually, do you know what? I'll close that down. Next one is D3. So we've got D3 here and we'll do conf t, we'll do interface VLAN 34 and we'll do standby 34 IP 192.168.34.1 We'll do standby 34 with a priority of 120 we'll do standby 34 oh. and we'll configure that to preempt and we'll do interface VLAN 42, we'll do standby 42 IP 2.1 we'll do standby 42 priority 120 and the next one will just be your ordinary configuration interface VLAN 37, standby 37 IP 37.1 and lastly for this one, interface VLAN 46 and it's just going to be standby 46 IP 192.168.46.1 show stand brief that looks fine and just go into the last router uh, last layer 3 switch should I say because it's rooting I'm getting myself confused Interface VLAN 37, we'll do standby 37 IP, standby 37 priority 120, standby 37 pre, interface VLAN 46, standby 46 IP. VLAN 34, stand 34, and these just have the IP address configuration with no preempt or priority on them. 42, show stand brief, check this. 34.1, 37.1, 42.1, 46.1. 37 is the higher priority with preempt and 46 higher priority with preempt. That seems to be fine. Okay, doc. So that's us now configured the HSRP, which is ready to go once I bring these interfaces up, or rather, once I convert these links here to trunks. And we've also got our DHCP pools. So the next thing what I'm going to do is configure um, span and tree protocol to match the root bridge with the active router in that VLAN instance. And once that's done, that should allow for a quite a, quite efficient networking. So we'll do that next. And yeah, we'll call up just now and I'll be back in two minutes. So hang tight.